Member Committee, thank you for the invitation to testify today on EDA's role in economic development and recovery. My name is John Messner, and I am a commissioner from Gunnison County, Colorado. Today, I am also representing the National Association of Counties, or NACO, which represents all of the nation's 3,069 counties. Counties play a major role in financing, administering, and coordinating federal workforce and economic development programs. This includes EDA, a key pillar of the federal, state, and local partnership. EDA programs and grants are a catalyst to spur recovery and innovation in communities throughout the country, and they are uniquely tailored to meet local re and regional needs and conditions. The bottom line is that EDA is a program that works on the ground. It is essential to helping communities transition from one economy to the next and helps to broaden local ec economic development efforts. It is successful because it gives us, the local communities, the tools and knowledge to help ourselves. Counties strongly believe the program should continue to be authorized and continuously funded. I have seen firsthand the difference the EDA can make in mitigating the economic downturn and in supporting efforts to create a stable and diversified economy in Gunnison County. We simply did not have the resources to pursue such a transformational initiative without the assistance of the EDA. As a bit of a background, Gunnison County is a rural county with a population of just 16,000 residents on the western slope of the Rockies. The county encompasses 3,200 square miles, and 78% of the county is considered public lands. We have long relied on a few key industries for our economic stability, including coal mining, oil and gas production, and outdoor recreation. Unfortunately, both Gunnison and Delta counties have recently faced a significant negative impact due to coal mine closures. Ten years ago, there were four operating coal mines in Gunnison and Delta counties employing over 2,000 workers. Now there is just one left, which employs only 250 workers. Our communities, economies, and residents have struggled as these closures have limited job opportunities in the region. Gunnison County has worked to respond to these economic changes and diversify our economy, and without assistance provided by the EDA, we would still be facing intense economic difficulties. EDA's engagement, financing, and support have been critical to our economic revitalization following the coal mining industry downturn. In September of 2016, EDA awarded a $650,000 grant to Gunnison and Delta counties to create a collaborative multi-agency innovation center and laboratory called the Innovation, Creativity, and Entrepreneurship Lab, or ICE Lab for short. In addition to the EDA funding, the project leveraged other state and local funding opportunities and partnered with Western Colorado University. The ICE Lab serves as a co-working space, a business incubator, and a business accelerator for local businesses. Most importantly, it has allowed entrepreneurs a place to access capital, resources, and other startups, incentivizing them to stay and grow in Gunnison County, rather than moving elsewhere. This includes retaining recent graduates of Western Colorado University. The ICE Lab has contributed to the significant success of many businesses, several of which have expanded in just two years. Most importantly, these businesses operate in an extremely diverse set of industries, from construction to manufacturing to food and beverage industries. These businesses have created new jobs and diversified our economy and filled a gap providing job opportunities for those who lost them due to changes in the energy industry. As I said earlier, without EDA's assistance, these changes and the ICE Lab would not have been possible. EDA and the ICE Lab have been the catalyst for this economic revival. Moving forward through partnerships with the Outdoor Industry Association and with other private, nonprofit, state, and local partners, our county will remain a catalyst for industry, and economic growth. Chairwoman Titus, Ranking Member Meadows, thank you for having me here today. Counties across the country urge your continued support for the Economic Development Administration, which helps us build prosperity from the ground up at the local, regional, and national levels. Thank you again for the opportunity to testify today on behalf of NACO. We look forward to partnering with Congress moving forward.
I would be happy to answer any questions.